nice little guy here. Good enough for survival. And that's number two. All right, so we got our elbow reel and we've got two little fish, two little large mouth anyway. Not bad for a survival fishing pole. All right, so. You know, one cut behind that fin, one behind that. We can slice all the way down its gut, and then simply cut behind the head all the way through. And it should be good to just reach back here and pull all the guts out, keep the fish head for bait. A little bit. Okay. There's one fish behind the fin, cut up. Behind the fin, cut up. Cut all the way down. Behind the head. And then simply grab and pull all the guts with it. Okay, we got our fish heads, and then there's our second fish. For our fish, we'll just get a nice little fork like this, something like that. We can cook the fish on. Grab our little fish, and we'll just skewer these bad boys on there as best as possible, something like that. Now we got our two little fish ready to go over the fire. And for the fire today, we're going to use this nice fire starter, Aviation Survival Spark Light. See the spark light right in there, my left, your right. And then we have the tinder. And this nice little waterproof case that they issue to aviators in the military for emergency fire starting. Make a Small little platform down here. Put our tinder on. Nothing too fancy. And with these, we take one of the tinders out and just fluff it up as best as possible. Place it down inside. Then we grab the striker out, and it's got nice little arrows down here for instructions. Just simply hold it, and strike it. Okay, there you go. Let's start adding our, our fuel here, or our tinder.
So we got our fire going and I apologize this video is going to be kind of short and hastily done. I'm due back at the uh, HQ for a little bit of work but try to get out today to do a little bit of fishing. While our fire is doing its thing, let me show you really quick the hobo reel. It's very simple. We just need to harvest this section of material. It can be green or dead. It can be trash or a bottle that we find. But we have a section like this. It's about six, seven, eight inches or so. And on one end is gonna be our reel. We simply cut away that material. And then round off the top. as best as possible and depending on how much line we have that's about how big we're going to make the end of our hobo reel so if we only have a few feet we only really need a little bit on our reel everything else can stay the same this takes zero time all you need is a saw and a knife to harvest material and then create a hobo reel so you can see not much difference we can fine tune it and round off the edge as much as we need to. We should have something like this. And then all we have to do afterwards is take a piece of cordage and tie it to our reel and then create a lanyard that just goes around our wrist. That way, if we drop it, we won't lose it in the water. We can grab it really quick and then recast our line and hold on to it. But having a small lanyard like this, make sure that we don't drop this in the water and lose our fishing line, our hook, and our bobber with our bait along with our hobo reel. So safety precaution right there to help hang on to your gear and avoid losing it out in the drink. You notice that simply added the line and then a natural split in the wood as it dried out, holds the fishing hook, and then brought the bobber as part of our fishing kit. But a very simple hobo reel like this to catch some fish, two little small fish for survival, can pay off big time. Here's our fish cooked on our dirty, nasty e-tool. Good to go. And there's the spine. Here's all that good meat ready to go. There's a good piece right there. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this video. A very quick down and dirty video this afternoon. I'm going to be away this weekend doing a little bit more training to add some skills to my survival toolbox. But I thought we'd get out here and use the hobo reel, try to get some fish because the last time we were out here doing our combat water survival skill of inflating our pants to use as an emergency flotation device, there were a ton of fish out here swimming around and jumping up out of the water. And we just happened to catch them at a good time this afternoon to get a couple of fish for a meal. 
But I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment in the comment section. I always appreciate your feedback. I want to thank you guys for everything you do for me, for this channel, for your likes, your views, your subscriptions, your comments, your feedback, and your shares. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Mm-hmm.